All right, guys, today we're going to check out my tackle that I use for my fishing trips and will be used in my future fishing videos, guys. So, I do a lot of live bait fishing. So, most of the stuff you're going to see are going to be stuff that I use for that. I do do some soft plastic fishing flukes, worms. I don't have any right now to show you guys. Uh, I need to get some more. Then I will uh, try to get better at that and do some of those for you guys. Um, like I said, most of this is going to be for live bait. Let's check out the first thing. Got my trusty net. I love this thing. When I get a big one, this saves me. I like this one. It's made by Fraybill. It will collapse for easy storage. It's real important. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys in closer so we can see everything that's set out on the table. All right, guys, I got my fishing bag there, which I will not be using anymore. I got a fishing cooler, a fishing cooler that I have made. I will put that video in the description if you guys haven't checked that out. Everything will be put in it. So check that out, guys. All right, first off, we're going to check out. I got these tackle trays. I got all my weights. Never know what situation you're going to need a certain heavy weight or a lighter weight. Got all my different size hooks for different baits. Got my slip-on bobbers if I want to fish not on the bottom and then I got my if I never know what the depth is or deeper depth I use a slip bobber rig alright guys I got this measuring stick got this ruler goes up to 24 inches and it folds up got my fish grips Got a scale, never know how big your fish is going to be until you weigh it. I've got bait shears, scissors to cut my line. I've uh, got my two different kinds of pliers. Got my bait knife. Got my fish handler glove, which I don't really use for handling the fish. I use that if I get my line tangled around something. You don't want to wrap mono or braid around your hand. It will cut cut your hand out pretty bad. So I wrap it around the glove and I can pull it out pretty easily. Now let's go ahead and check this out. Now this guys, I've got all my leaders for when I'm catfishing or bass fishing with shiners and I need to use a fluorocarbon leader. I've got all my leaders cut to different lengths. So they're already pre-rigged with a swivel. That way I don't have to do it at my fishing spot. I can just keep on fishing. All right guys, that's pretty much my tackle. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it and stay tuned for fishing videos to come guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.